So today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Rode Wireless Filmmakers Kit from Rode Wireless. And we are on a football field right now to kind of give it a little test. All right, so right now we're gonna give this a little test on this football field here. Keep in mind, uh, we're in a very open area, so there's not gonna be, there shouldn't be like any interference. Right now we are 10 yards out from the camera, and we're gonna keep walking here. We're at 20 yards right now, hopefully there's no interference. I can't tell, because I'm obviously not monitoring the camera. So Rode comes in at a very, very good price point for a solid wireless uh, lavalier setup. Uh, at, I believe it was like 400, something like that. Uh, there's gonna be a link in the description below to actually uh, double check that. Uh, but compared to other systems that are around like 700, 800, 1000, all that, I mean, Rode Wireless is, is actually incredible for the price. Uh, right now we are at the 20 yard line on the opposite side of the field. We are now at the back of the end zone. So what is that? I can't do math that well. Um, but now I'm going to walk back here and kind of check if the audio works or not. I hope I press record. I think I did. So I want to talk about the design of this for a second. The receiver is currently mounted on the camera. I'm talking through the uh, Rode Lavalier mic right now. But if you notice here, I mean, you don't see any... The, the one thing I like about it the most is that it's a sleek design. It is a little bulky. It is a little bulky, but it's not terrible. Uh, but if you'll notice, as compared to some older wireless system, there's no antennas on the outside, right? They're all in, on the inside, which is part of the reason why I believe it's made out of a plasticky material, which does kind of feel cheap. But at the same time, you know, it's got a little rubber coating on it. It does seem a little bit durable, but I wouldn't drop it from anywhere high up. I think this thing would crack in a heartbeat. Maybe not, who knows? And as I was touching upon before, I mean, you know, I work a lot of weddings and being able to set up stuff, I mean, you should have your stuff set up beforehand, um, but sometimes you can't always do that. So to be able to have a piece of equipment that you can set up within seconds and have up and running perfectly is a game changer. I mean, literally with the transmitter and the receiver, there's this power button here on each one. You're gonna click and hold each one and it's gonna pair to itself, right? And I swear it's up and running within a couple seconds. I personally have had no issues using this system in busy areas or churches, uh, parts of Queens, parts of the city. However, with that being said, I would be wary about using it in extremely high traffic areas like uh, Times Square in New York City, where there's tons of signals and interference everywhere. Um, you know, if you were gonna do that, I would highly recommend to, you know, doing what I do is if you have to use a wireless setup, I would use, you know, one to two other backups like a, uh, a high-end shotgun microphone or an audio recorder, just something else just in case something screws up because you never know if you're going to get any type, any, any type of signal loss or any type of interference and you're not going to want just one audio source in your final cut pretty much. So positives and negatives to using wireless systems, right? A huge positive is that if something screws up mid-shoot, whether you're on a wedding, a commercial shoot, whatever, and you're monitoring the audio, you can hear it in your headphones, you can see the levels, you can see that something's not right and you have the opportunity to fix it. Um, with audio recorders that aren't wireless, you have you know, you're not gonna get any sort of signal interference or anything like that, so you're good on that end. However, an audio recorder can possibly screw up at any moment, and the problem is, you don't know it until you're 
done filming and you've checked the recorder after the shoot. So like I said before, in most situations, uh, because I like to run uh, my wireless audio either into the camera body itself or into another recorder, depending on the type of job, uh, I do like to run backups, whether it's another audio recorder, you know, tucked in, you know, someone's shirt differently or a shotgun mic pointed towards them. Any, any type of extra backup is always good because you never want to be finished with a job and then your main audio is just screwed up and you don't want to have to tell the client that you have to reshoot because of this and it's just a whole hassle. So always run backups when you can. You know, you can get two to three of these systems compared to one system of a higher end wireless system. And while other wireless systems are going to have other benefits and features, the price point and quality of this makes it really hard not to buy. Especially if you're on a low budget or you're an up and coming filmmaker that wants to increase their audio game, uh, it really is uh, quite the little product. Really good thing about these is that they also have locking connectors, right? So you're going to lock a lavalier mic in or you're going to lock on the uh, receiver the cable that goes into the camera and you know if on accident your talent or whatever you know pulls it out or falls on the ground it's not going to pull out because it's locked and the good thing about this is that you know if you don't like the Rode lavalier mic to begin with you know maybe you want something better you can upgrade to Sennheiser's ME2 or MKE2 uh, lavalier microphones and it's going to fit with this. It's also got a fancy little belt clip on the back you see this? So for me, right, at certain weddings or events where I need to plug into a, a DJ board and I need to monitor the audio on the fly, a wireless system is great because I can monitor the audio in camera, right? Um, but with that being said, you know, that's, that's a great thing to have and a great feature to have. But like I said, always run backups, you know, whether you're putting a microphone in front of a speaker or you're hooking up uh, an audio recorder to another part of the board or behind the speaker, whatever it is, always run backups. But this Rode system does work with plugging into board with uh, a mini jack that can go right into the uh, camera itself. All right, so let's go test this in a busier area. So I guess one important thing, right, would be battery life. I, I would assume most people want to know about that. Um, so pretty much when I've worked weddings, I have been plugged into the board for, I would say about, on average, two to three hours, maybe even four at certain times. Um, and that's obviously not constant use of, of the audio, you know, not constantly recording. Uh, however, you know, I've gone on average about two, three, sometimes four hours, and the battery life, you know, on a full charge of AA batteries, I get down to, you know, two bars, one bar times if I'm running for really long, but I mean, how long are you running this for anyway, you know? So since we're in a parking garage now, we're gonna test the uh, signal strength a little bit. Um, hopefully you guys will be able to see me with this. All right. So hopefully we get signal from here because it's only a few feet away. Hopefully no one takes the camera. Let's see. Let's see. Let's keep walking here by this orange car over here. And they keep going. You guys still see me and hear me all the way over here? Whoop. All right, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this review video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below uh, and please subscribe, much appreciated. I'm gonna enjoy this acai bowl. Peace.